I have the flip through of the second journal we made using the free digital kit included with this junk journal beginners series. So this is our catching butterflies soft cover journal for the flip through and details. Stay tuned. Hi everybody, it's Julie. I'm here with the flip through from the second journal that we made in the Junk Journal Beginner Series here on Dear Julie Julie. And this journal ended up being quite chunky, um, <laughs> but it's fun and it is full of great ideas. There is a playlist with well, all of the things that we've done in the beginner series, but I'll also have the beginners uh, junk journal series, catching butterflies, and that's what this journal we're, we're going to call it. It is a soft cover journal. I used uh, 12 by 12 scrapbook paper and wall um, wallpaper for the cover. It's a five-hole pamphlet stitch. I have a uh, lace or a ribbon and trim closure and we have used images from the free digital kit that I gave um, for this beginners junk journal series if you're interested in um, playing along the free digital kit is in the scrap all about it with dear Julie Julie Facebook group and um, We'd love to have you join us in this series. So here we go. Again, five hole pamphlet stitch. Our cover has this beautiful green linen paper that um, was in my mom's stash that I used here. Then a Project Life card. This is from a dictionary, a little dictionary. And you'll see we're going to be using this all through the journal. And um, this little image is from wrapping paper. This image and the stamp are both from the digital kit. We're using a bingo marker here and some gold thread. It is all distressed. You'll see I ripped around the, um, the catching butterflies image there. So I did use a 12 by 12 paper and I folded it up and made a pocket here. We added a postcard image, and then this image is from the digital. I did add a flinch card here from another digital kit, and um, it's from the flinch card digital kit, and some fabric to that to go into this pocket right here. I have a small tag, and this image is from the digital kit some of the green paper, some pattern paper added on here, and some more of the um, dictionary. This image is from the digital kit. This is from the address book that I used throughout. Another scrapbook page. We have this little golden tag attached to the tag here with a bingo marker and some more of the um, dictionary. You can see the dictionary comes around to the other side. And you'll see that I did distress this journal. So this image is one of the page images from the digital kit. And inside we have an index, a large index file folder. And it has a pocket and an image from the digital kit, dictionary, bingo, and the gold thread. And I did leave the little holes on that. We have a tab on this first page out of fabric and lace that's been added with um, fabric tack. So also this little image here, this came from the wrapping paper, and we have some, um, this image is from the digital kit here also, okay? So I took two pages and glued them together to make this large pocket. We have, this is from the mag a magazine, and it is attached to book paper. We have a tag that has is been collaged with all kinds of things there. And it has one of the small tags attached to it 
that can hang off the edge. So we've taken this image and these images from the digital kit, added them onto this piece of lace and made a, a tuck on this book page. We have a, a Project Life card that has some of the green paper that goes on both sides and another one of the little images from the wrapping paper. This is one of my favorite journaling paper books. So I have a journal that I bought that has several different colors of paper in it. And I was it's sewn, so I was able to undo the stitching. And that gave me side-by-side -side pages to use in my journal. So this is one of those. Here I have the bird on the tree. This is from the digital kit. We did a, um, collaged hearts. So our patchwork hearts, and then I've attached other images from the digital kit, the bingo, and the messy string there. This is the gift um, gift bag that I used in this journal. And so this is an envelope flap, flap here for a double tuck. This is a distressed dryer sheet to make a little lace edge there. And then we have another image from the digital kit and it's just distressed and piece of dictionary page added there. Okay, so here we've made a tuck up there and this little heart is there. And you can go ahead and write on that if you wanted to. So as you saw, this was our envelope flap. So we have an envelope attached here. So this is a double tuck. And that's where I use an envelope flap to be able to tuck other things in. We have a collaged envelope here. This lace image is from the digital kit. And then these are, this is dictionary and crossword. And then we have another one of the images from the digital kit with some dictionary. And I just cut straight, cut straight, and cut around the flower. So you get the whole flower image. It kind of gave it a file folder look. And that's inside our envelope. I added, um, we decorated the back of this envelope and added this little pocket where it has a, a little ticket, a ticket tuck here, there, inside the bottom of a guest check. So here is the, remember this was our gift bag and it flipped up and made a pocket so here we have another image from the digital kit collaged. This was from a card, um, just a greeting card, and I cut it and added it here. And then this is one of the bank envelopes. So it's a double pocket bank envelope. There's a pocket here and a pocket here. And we've just got the cute little girl gardening in there as a tag and I added some of the wrought iron paper that I have and made that. Added a butterfly here so you have a tuck that you can put something in there. And here we have a book paper pocket and it is collaged with images from the digital kit. So both of those are in the digital kit. This is a sticker from address labels. So the, the name would be over here. It's my parents, so we don't need very many of those, and we have lots, so there's the sticker. Um, this is the, um, oh, what is it? It's a ledger that is part of the digital kit, and I just distressed a guest check, and I just like the way it looked behind this. It kind of framed it, and I took this pocket. We made the pocket. And then I took the pocket and attached it to this flap of the flip-flop. So there's a flip-flop with some extra writing pages. And here we used a note paper and just folded it. Okay, you can lift this up and that will make it easier to get your pages out. So we have a decorated gift, guest check just with a stamp. And then I just folded this note paper and added it in here. Remember, this is catching butterflies, so we have butterfly images all throughout, along with those cute images of the boys catching butterflies and the three kids catching butterflies. So there we go. So this is an image from some collage wrapping paper that I have. It's actually for, like, um, decoupaging, 
and the butterfly stencil that we use. And you'll see this throughout the journal. See, there it is again. Um, here we have a fabric tab, and I stapled in some of the gold trim here just to to give that a uh, pretty look. So here you can see there's an envelope flap. So we've made a envelope or a double tuck out of it. Here we have our little pocketbook notebook. Okay, so you oh, there's the kids catching butterflies. See there, this is net, there's the butterflies. And this is a note paper inside our little clutch purse, okay? So, and that just comes over and holds it closed. We have a Project Life card here with some um, distressing uh, stenciling. And we have a little um, paper clip. We'll show you that in a minute. So we here we have a decoupage card. And this was from our collage page. And so it just goes in here and it's got a fabric tab. We've got tickets, gold doily, all kinds of things on there. So this is our top tuck and you can see that it comes down like that. And so you can go ahead and write in there if you want to. And we're just gonna put this there. We've got our little fabric paper clip. It's, this is, um, we did a rounded edge on this and so that it would give it another another place so we can it's a it's a double tuck so it's a top flip double tuck <laughs> so adding this gave us a definite place to um, put more even though we had this border glued down I just really like the way that turned out so here's some, um, more of that lace image from the digital kit this is wrapping paper this right here is from the magazine. This is after I used the heart sticker. This is the negative. Some uh, stamping and some of the uh, dictionary. And then this flinch card is just holding that. Okay. We do have a pocket here. Um, it's an envelope. And it's it's got a couple of things in it. Oh, that's right. We stapled that in there, so we decided that we would give it another card. I remember. <laughs> um, we did add this from some of the note paper that talks about butterflies. And then we have a Rolodex card that we've collaged. And it's in this um, top tuck here. This is one of the images from the digital kit with some um, dictionary. We have some scrapbook paper and we folded it up and made it a pocket, added a, this is from the collaged page and we made tags and this one we added some gold tool to the outside of it. And this is our coin envelope and it has a Project Life card um, cut down and distressed to fit in there and we just collaged it. And I've left the flap up it does two things. It helps give more um, interest on this page. We have a little collage going on down here. This was a little flag, um, page flag that I flipped up and it looks like a little envelope. I love it. This is one of the images from the digital kit. Probably my favorite image. It has a tab and some more of the lace. And then we have uh, a collage here with pattern an image from the digital kit. Remember this digital kit is free if you are participating in the beginners um, junk journal series. So here's our large um, paper clip and using images from the digital kit. Um, there's the January calendar and we did go ahead and make it so that we could tuck that in. This is a decorated fabric flip, and so we have some lace down here, um, one of the bingo and uh, messy string, and we added a waterfall of note papers on this pattern paper, which is the main part of this page. And so we'll go ahead and turn this over, and we have our triple pocket here, or double pocket, double pocket, 
made out of the pattern paper. You can see we folded it in a way that we have a pocket here and a pocket here, and we actually have a pocket here as well. So we have one of the large tags from the journaling kit, the digital kit, and we have this decorated postcard, and we turned this into a pocket and added, this was from another um, piece of ephemera that I had, and added a little tab there. And there we have that pocket. This is from the calendar. I just absolutely loved it. I put it in here even though it was pink. I thought, wow, I just loved it. So here's another one of the flip, flip tucks here. And so it's got this extra pocket and it also, this flips up. And then we folded this down. And so you have another pocket there. So it's flipped tuck with a couple extra pockets there. So these go here and then um, you can also you can put something in this pocket, in this pocket and then we can turn it and we have a pocket here and here's a tag made out of our collaged page and backed with paper and all that can be held together with our little paper clip or a large paper clip. This is the lace image. This is one of the images from the digital kit. We've collaged on some pieces of the wrapping paper and a dictionary and then added a um, edge here. Then we have a large index card there and some more of the lace. So this is part, this is one of the images. Remember we took two pages and made them into a large pocket. Here we have a flip and then we have a pocket. And this pocket has this um, map image that was in my stash and then some pages cut from a coffee dyed. This was from a hotel. And this is part of well, this is just collage. No, this is part of our collage page, I think. And so on here we added from the larger dictionary and a, another butterfly from that collage page. So this is the center of our signature. I went ahead and I framed around where it said painted lady butterfly on cone flower with the negative of a sticker. I added these two charms from the digital kit and it has both of them have children on them and then you turn them over and they have images that say 1889 we also have some sequins and some bling attached and so there's those and one of them hangs all the way out the bottom I love it so here we have another flip and a couple of um, this is a postcard here, so you can write on that. Again, this is um, this is the another page from the digital kit, and it is glued onto this calendar on this side. Okay, so you see, it's a page. It's the pink splash page. There we go. True, and there's. There's that. So another page from the digital kit. These lined with the boxes. And then we have the butterfly stencil. Here we have a piece of the repurposed or reclaimed or rescued wedding dress that's been coffee dyed. There's a story to that. <laughs> if you hang out around the channel, you'll, you'll hear it. Um, we stenciled this side using the size of a paper. And over here we took the distressing tool and just made polka dots. Here we have a book page pocket that's been collaged and then it has one of the tags from the collage sheet and a guest check in it. And um, yeah, I think I love making the, the book page pockets. And so here we're using it as a tuck and we just have some note paper 
in there. I left the edge because it adds texture. Um, here we have another edge. Here's another one of the envelopes made out of the page flag. We added some of the dictionary and some stamping. Here's another one of the images from the digital kit. The other side of the calendar pocket and another um, part of the collaged page. So again, um, there is a playlist with everything, how we made everything in here. Added um, some note paper here to this page. This is a wallet flip insert. Um, that's what I call it. it kind of reminds me of a wallet, kind of like a passport or something. So in here, we have two images from the digital kit holding a piece of ephemera just in there. And so kind of like picture corners. Then some of the note paper to hold a tag. And I love this. This is an old address book, the notes part. And then we added some of the scrapbook paper here with this image that holds this and a couple of flinch cards here. And that all folds up. Have an image from the, um, oh, this is part of the, the collage page and we have some of the words from the wrapping paper. We have one of the image, this is from the autograph book and you have a large tag. And so this is the other side of the double pattern pocket. And flip it over. And we have our coin envelope that we made. And this was a mini challenge in the challenge. And here we have our kids that are catching butterflies. We have some of the dictionary, the string, and the bingo, and then we have a tag flip here, so it's got several tags put together. These are images. This is from the autograph book, and we cut the edges off. This is from the digital kit. We just added and collaged a one of the white tags, and all of that is held in our coin envelope. Okay, so for that, for that um, challenge, you had to make a coin envelope and one of the double pocket uh, bank envelopes and you had to make what you were putting in it so for that I made the tag flip and put it inside that one so here's another negative some more stenciling here's another piece of that dress um, this is from another digital that I had we have the simplicity pattern here I love that it said simplicity child and so we put her there this is a scrap from the um, wrought iron book that I have that I coffee dyed. This is an image from one of the images of, that's in the digital. We distressed around the outside, added lace, and there's the other tab. This is one of the images from the digital kit. It is a page, so pretty awesome. I love this. <laughs> so this is one side of it, and that other handkerchief side is on the other. Here we have the other piece of that map some more of the collaged page another one of the collaged hearts and this time it is a paper clip but we've just clipped it on here as a um, embellishment for that pocket here's a double tuck so our envelope is on the other side in there somewhere and now we're able to um, attach or put in a couple of things into the envelope flap and so there so here we have our our boys that are catching butterflies and we made it into a large stamp another one of our collaged page tags and we backed that one with lined paper and this is a magazine page and I just love the way that this turned out the other side is the iris and I just think that this turned out to be a great page in the journal. And of course, it, you could go ahead and put a photograph over this. You can add, you know, some quote or something that you have onto that page. We have a flip up, flip down here. And we, it, we used book pages. We were using a lot of book pages in this journal. I had a, I was on a quest to use a, use a whole book. Um, not necessarily in this, but to, I wanted to use up a book. So there's some lined paper, crossword. There is a little belly band here, so you could put something there. 
and some more of that green linen paper. The belly band is made from a guest check. And here's the whole peg, uh, page flag, not made as an envelope. And this is another one of the pictures from um, the, the journal that my mom had. This is a guest check. We went ahead and added the, the stencil to the front. You could still light enough. You could write over it. Um, but there you go. And this is the birds behind this is wrapping paper. Here's another one of our collaged hearts or quilted hearts. And then we added some lace. And we have a flip-flop here made out of Flavia journal address book paper. Okay. We have a flip over here with the image of the kids and you can go ahead and write on that. And this, um, you can go ahead and write on the lines like this or like this, either way. And so I thought that was kind of cool. We added a piece of the guest check. I always take the bottoms of the guest checks off. So I thought that was kind of cool. A negative of the heart sticker and then this is a little image from the wrapping paper. Here we have a belly band. It has one of the coin envelopes that we made out of book page. This image is in the digital kit. It has a little trolley car. And this image is from the digi digital kit right here, the birds. We have guest check here and here, part of that page flag, and the um, flinch card. So a lot going on on that page and then it is a belly band so we made a belly band out of book paper and then added this um, this coin envelope okay and that's on mat the map page then here this is the back of an envelope and I just covered up the space where because this is you know where the envelope you can still see it and I, I decided that it was okay because it just adds to the, the collage. This is, um, both of these are images from the digital kit. That's the free digital kit. And then these are dictionary definitions. And then inside this pocket, we used a, this is um, the insert when you buy a, a set of cards. And I had added gold paper to it. And then we added the stenciling here, added that um, happiness is a butterfly note paper. The tab over here has some fabric, some dictionary page, some uh, distressed dryer sheet. We have the dictionary there. And this is pretty substantial. It's a nice cardboard tag. It's pretty cool. So, um, you see that you just barely see the butterflies through this and then I collage some images on here along with the pattern paper. Here's some of the lace. So we had lace here and then a, just a piece of the lace that was left um, image, lace image there. Uh, from the wallpaper, we just added that and distressed that page, added some washi tape, a page flag, and an image from the free digital. Another image from the free digital. It's been ripped and added kind of to look like a stamp and then fabric here. We have um, scrapbook paper that we flipped up, made a pocket. Then from a greeting card, I had cut this out and I liked it because it matched the color. Added this little tag from a Teresa Collins book that I had. Here's some more of the words. Um, we have a tag here made from a um, flash card. This is a piece of the card, some washi tape. We did um, stencil the image on. This is the flat side. This is the glossy side. So I stenciled on the flat side. We have another coin envelope. I made several of these. And this is, these are both images from the digital kit. And then this, you know, eight is my favorite words so, or my favorite number so I left that and just made that part of the collage and then I just let her flip over so she becomes part of the collage here so we just have all that collage stuff going on so here we have a top tuck made from that journal that was my mom some more of the words from the um, the wrapping paper and then a couple of this is an image from your from the digital kit free one 
and a postcard. And here we're back to the gift book or gift bag pocket page. And we have our double pocket bank envelope. So there's a story to this and you can see that in the video where we make these. We decorated um, both of the pieces that went in here. And so since it was a bank envelope, we used some play money and a postage stamp image from the digital kit. You'll see that it it's just a really cool envelope. So from the bank, your money would be here and your change would be inside here if you go through the drive through at my dad's bank. So then there is this lace piece, another one of the images from Teresa Collins, and um, it said like miss you or something there, so I, I added that. And here's another one of those envelopes made out of a page flag. It doesn't actually open up, I just flap the page flag over. Um, here we have just a fold-out piece of coffee-dyed paper. Trying to use up things, too. A uh, collage here. This is an image. The pairs is an image from the digital kit. We have a little pocket here. This um, Project Life card. So remember, we stamped on a couple of them. This is pattern paper that came over and across. And there's our image from the um, collage paper that I it's wrapping paper collage decoupage wrapping paper this is an image from the digital also okay and oh those go into that pocket oops it's okay um, so this is on the journaling paper this is Oh, it's book page. So I added this calendar page that I have from a skinny calendar book. Um, this is punched out. This is from one of the images from the digital kit. This is from an image from the digital kit. We stamped on the back. There's a pocket here also with a postcard from the digital kit there. And that fits. It's in there. Okay, so you see another piece from the journal from my mom. This um, this was really cool. It's just a piece of scrapbook paper that I had. And so I ripped it. I put it together and it was a little bit in. So I ripped this edge and added an image. And I, loved, I just love the way that turned out. So here we have a butterfly from the magazine. That, and this is from note paper. And we just added it onto this image. This is one of the page images from the digital kit. We added the side of the um, dictionary here. And then we have our um, collaged card here. This is one of the index cards. And so this was a piece that was left after we took the top part for something else. This is that greeting card. And those roses were over here on this other part. Added um, some of the dictionary and ripped around the image and just attached it to this card and again this was from a vintage greeting card that I had in my stash so just trying to show you how to use things that you have around here this is the um, ledger it's part of the digital kit and then there's the little gardening girl so that is our Catching Butterfly, so 82 pages, and um, very, very chunky. Uh, you can take all of the things out and then add them as you want to. Um, I just think this would be a great journal, especially if you are... Oh, so to be able to tell which one um, goes behind, I added this little piece here and it ends up right in the center of the journal okay so right in the center of the journal and then we just tie this in a bow very simple simple tie um, again this is the beginners junk journal series this is the second journal that we finished in this series 
and there you go see how that that ends up like there and that way when I go to tie it or you go to tie it you know that that's the one that goes across the back so and then our little charms hang out there so I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, this journal is available in the Etsy shop while it lasts. And I hope you'll join us in the beginner junk journal series. Uh, we are on part 17 will be our next video. Um, and we are live at 335 Pacific Standard Time every weekday. And we'd love for you to join us. Also, don't forget that we have a challenge here on the Dear Julie Julie channel each month. This month, we are the April A to Z Junk Journal Challenge. And we are making elements for each of the letters of the alphabet. It's a lot of fun. And we'd love to have you join us. So the details for both of those are in the description box down below. Have an amazing day. Find something to celebrate every day. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you know when a video comes up. And have an, an amazing day. Be safe. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.